Good evening and welcome back to Conklin. I know it's been a long time since we've been together, but my dad has been quite poorly and is still quite sick. And I haven't been that well and I'm still not that well. But we're here today. I can't guarantee you there'll, there'll be a service tomorrow, but today we are back to Complin. So welcome to Tuesday Complin on this lovely day. We start by having a moment of quiet. I will lie down and sleep in peace. For you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. O God and Spirit, in you the three, from the crown of my head, O Trinity, to the soles of my feet, mine offering be. Come I unto thee, O Jesu, my King. O Jesu, do thou be my sheltering. My dear ones, O God, bless thou and keep in every place where they are. Whoever has chosen to make the shelter of the Most High their dwelling place will stay in his overshadowing. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God and I am trusting him. He will rescue you from the traps laid for your feet and save you from the destroying curse. His faithful promises are your armour. You need no longer be afraid of any terror by night or the death arrow that flies by day. The Lord himself is your refuge. You have made the Most High your stronghold. Be my rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. How precious to me your thoughts, O God, how vast is the sum of them. <coughs> Excuse me, were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. I will not lie down tonight with sin, nor shall sin nor sin shadow lie down with me. O God of life this night, O oh, darken not to me thy light, O oh, God of life this night. Close not thy gladness to my sight, O oh, God of life this night. Thy door to me, O oh, shut not tight, O oh, God of life this night. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm afraid I've got one of those coughs that COVID leaves you with. Hosea 14 verse 4 says these words, I will heal their waywardness, I will move them lavishly. My anger is played out, I will make a fresh start with Israel. As you sit down and listen to me tonight, what is it that you are seeking? Do you desire a return to God? Do you long for the peace that can only come from him? Do you need a fresh start? God has initiated that longing within you and has drawn you to himself so that you can know his peace. He wants to give you a fresh start and love you lavishly. He wants to show you that all things can be made new if you will allow him into your life. God's mercy and peace are available to you tonight. Will you open your heart to him? Hosea 14 verse 9 says, If you are wise, you will know and understand what I mean. I am the Lord and I lead you along the right path. If you obey me, we will walk together. And as we move into a time of quiet prayer, let me pray a prayer to begin. Dear God, I will open my heart to your lavish love. Thank you for drawing me to yourself and giving me a new beginning. Amen.
Let's close by saying the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Be it on thine own beloved arm, O God of grace, that I in peace shall waken. Jesus, son of Mary, my helper, my encircler, Jesus, son of David, my strength everlasting. Jesus, son of David, I'm sorry, Jesus, son of Mary, my helper, my ever, my encircler. A little bit out of practice. <laughs> the peace of all peace be mine this night in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's continue as a world to pray for all that is going on in the Ukraine. And I would ask that you wish that you pray for all who are mourning the loss of our dear Sovereign Lady. And let me end with the words, God save the King. Amen. See you again. Good night and God bless you.